Hello there, this is Harry Du. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to use MaxStrategy REST API to get the data, to apply uh, filters, to apply salt on the data. So let's take a look. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to show you this uh, uh, demo. So it's on github.com slash MaxStrategy data dash API dash demo. And you can see there's a live demo. So you can go to this page to see what APIs we use in this demo. So I'm going to show you a live demo. So let me go to this live demo. So on, in this demo, on the left, you can see we have a list of uh, data set objects. So in this demo, we show report and cubes. So when you select some cubes, you, we will see what we will show you, uh, what are the attributes, what are the metrics in this cube. So you can use this to build your filters, build your metric limit, and also apply sort. On the right side, on the top, this is uh, uh, the grid layout of this data. So I, we, uh, we actually use incremental fetch. I'll show you the rest API for this. At the bottom, this is your, uh, looks like a console log, right? Use this console log, you can see each request, uh, what we are passing and what's the response of each request. So let's try it. So here, uh, before we do anything, so let's see the list of requests we are making. So here you can see, first we log in, right? Log in, we actually use the uh, guest authentication mode. Um, we, we get a list of report, we get a list of uh, cubes. If you look at the result, we get a list of uh, um, report, this list of cubes. And we, for each of the report, we call report called get and with the report ID and to get some basic information of the report and the cube. So we render this, right? We render, we got a name, we render this using the basic option, uh, both basic information. We also get the, uh, yeah. So those are the APIs to get basic information. And the last one is the one to get data, right? We actually use this to get data. So if you look at the, hmm, the request, we actually don't pop, post any, we didn't, we didn't send any filters and didn't send any metric limit. And the response, it contains the definition and you can use this to render, right? Render uh, the data. So we also have the, each row of data, we also have a data section. So this is a response to use to render this part. So let's try to, okay, I'm going to clear this, okay. Let's try to apply, create a filter with this. So I'm going to create a, a view filter and use a category, okay, in list of a movie, let's see. Okay, I'm going to apply this, create this, right, category in movie. I'm going to apply this. And you see, um, we're sending a new request and we're sending a new request. And here you can see the request body has a view filter in, right, in, attribute category and only like movie like category in list of in list this is list list of movies uh, so you can use this to 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 create to use this to create your json or to use this to understand how does this api work and in the response a similar uh, structure this different data you see here only shows the movie you can also use this to do sort let's do a sort uh, let's sort by uh, average revenue per customer. Let's see. So I'm going to sort this by average, average revenue by per customer and sort descendingly. So if I apply this, you see a new post request is sending um, and uh, we are sending the uh, match, uh, the sort, right? Sort JSON as well. So in the sort, we have a metric. Uh, metric and of uh, sort by this metric and uh, descending it. And uh, yeah, so and you can see this is sorted by right by the average revenue per customer. And uh, another thing I want to show you is you can see in the request we get in data, we, cry, we, we pass the offset and limit. So this is to, uh, you can use this to get to do an incremental fetch, right? So right now I'm only fetch the first 20, right? Limit is 20 and the offset is zero. So I'm only fetch the first 20 row of data. You can see there's only like 20 row of data, uh, first 20 row of data. So if I go to the next page, you'll see we're making 
like making a new request and we're sending uh, offset still limit is 20 right offset is 20 so we're getting a net next uh, 20 row of data so you can use this to you can use this to right, to implement increment fetch logic and this example we show a queue and report you can also uh, see a report so report uh, cox let's see if i do open the cox line so this is a report you see right so this is rendering the difference uh, this is render report you can use the this ui to build a uh, view filter match limit and sort okay this is the first example i can i show i want to show you so you can use this to understand the data apis and also um, to see live demos Another thing I want to show you is uh, we have the sum of examples in the MapStrategy REST API playground. So in order to get a playground, you can go to Postman. You can go to, let me show you how to get it. You can go to postman.com right, slash MapStrategy SDK. And in, you can, once you open this, you can see, you can go to um, the API workflow collections. Right? You open the collection, you can see uh, we have some examples for data API. So I have this loaded in my um, post. Uh, in this API, we have uh, examples for report, cube, and dossiers. And you can see how to get data, how to uh, apply a page by, how to apply field, uh, sort. And for the dossiers, you can also see examples uh, for how to uh, export, uh, how to get data for each of the realizations. Yeah, so those are the examples you can use. You can also, from the playground, you can also see examples for how to apply prompts. You can see like, how to apply prompts before you uh, get the data, you can answer uh, all kinds of prompts and then you can get the data. So you can take a look at of this collection. And if you don't know how to get started with the REST API playground, you can watch another video about how to get started. Um, thank you. So this is the overview of data APIs. And uh, thank you. I'll see you in next uh, video. Thank you. Bye-bye.